hello another selfie from the back of the car because we are headed to the pediatrician's office to do our follow-up appointment for James's weight I'm hopeful are you hopeful Peter that oh, he... I, think, uh, I think so. yeah um, he's obviously eaten more than he has I can I, I think you can tell in his face um, and then this was nice too because we have a couple more questions that we get to ask our pediatrician then um, and yeah, that's where the day begins. We had to go over to Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital to get a follow-up test for James's jaundice levels. She's not worried about them, but she wants to just get them checked out. And visit went really well. I'm super proud of James. He's in the 53rd percentile for his weight, 59th for his height. Guess how much his head is? 99th percentile for the head size. Couldn't be more proud. Also, James did gain four ounces, so we're going to wait. Oh my gosh, this mural it is Cross and Squirt and Tiana. Shashire Cat. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, three hours later. Everybody, look. See this right here? This right here came in the mail today. And I'm literally, my mind is blown because it is actually James's birth certificate. And I'm so excited because. I don't know if any of you, we talk about it sometimes. I was actually born in Florida, in Plantation, Florida in 91, moved to Illinois, spent the rest of my life there. And like, I think it was summer 93. Um, my mom will let me know if I'm right when she's watching this. Um, but it's super cool. We always said like, it'd be kind of cool. My, it's my birth state too. And now on James' birth certificate, it has the names of his parents. So me and Sarah, but Sarah's maiden name because that's how they do it and our, both of our birthplaces. And so in, for Sarah, it says Illinois, United States. And for me, it says Florida, United States and birthplace of, of uh, James here. How do they put it? Orlando, Orange County, Florida. Super cool. Can't believe that showed up already. All right, Sarah is getting the vlog situated and then is nearing dinner time. And so I'm getting dinner started. Our lovely friend Lauren sent us a bunch of these like partially pre-made like vegan like quick dinner things and so like I chopped up some t potatoes to make like almost like hash brownie cube sized potatoes frying those up with a onion and jalapeno we're gonna heat up this Indian coconut curry so I got the salt and pepper frying up the potatoes I'm gonna get these all chopped up and get it all sauteed up before we pour that over it all right so I have all of this all good and fried up taking this right here Really delicious, and I'm just gonna pour it on top and then mix it up to heat it. And we're gonna serve it on up. I did have a friend with me that I was going to do this P.O. box haul with, um, but he woke up and had a diaper. So, Daddy O is taking care of that now. He does not like to be undressed. Um, good news, we got the results from the lab work about the jaundice. 
his numbers aren't high enough to need any sort of light therapy but we do have to go back monday to get the same labs done again they take so much blood out of his little heel um just to make sure that the numbers keep going down but we're gonna keep on giving him lots of good food flush out the the jaundice um and obviously have him in some sunlight that's really really good for him so that is the plan there but i want to just show you quickly what we picked up today from the PO box we got some cool i voted stickers from cassidy they're awesome love those we got the giving tree from kathy such such a good book we don't have this one so we were super excited to see that more books from the clemens family chelsea's family what's up clean baby clean baby naked baby naked baby oh he needs new clothes yeah After i thought you were grabbing month. new clothes it's okay i found a swaddle Okay. He's cozy now. Okay. So good old fashioned parent tag team. Um, I changed James and then he was fussing so, so I went to go feed him. So I'm going to finish the, the awesome gifts we got in the mail today. I believe Sarah left off right here. This package of wonderful clothes and cards and very probably most excited about these shoes are from our friends Lou and Hannah. I just like, I love it. I love it, the quality, and they feel so soft and comfy cozy. They got these little stars. They're just simple. They're sweet and simple. Thank you so much, Lunia. All right, now this right here. You don't see very often Harry Potter, Hogwarts, house-themed baby stuff. Our friend Jessica sent us this amazing box. That's actually my favorite dinosaur of all time. Love it, love it. Hogwarts, put a comment down below letting us know what house you are. Me and my girl Katie, Puff Pride for life. And then some stellar Disney stuff. And what's cool is like, this is when, like, look at this. Awesome. Imagine James just like, walking down Main Street, like when he's a little bit of a big boy right there. I can't wait. And then it's like, this is perfect timing. Christmas Disney socks right as we decorate. And don't even get me started on how excited I am for when James is old enough to be doing fun, playful bath times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jessica. And then last but not least, we have two wonderful things. A wonderful, precious card from Danielle. Thank you so much. Uh, we love just hearing messages from you guys, um, whether it's in an email or a card or a private message. Um, not everybody can share their lives, and we do. And whenever we feel like that we can, that we've touched other people's lives, that, that means a lot to us. And our friend Matt, his parents actually sent us this amazing Disney baby milestone blanket. Super cute. And it's got like, I've literally never seen it before. Like I've seen a million different versions of these month milestones, but I've never seen the Disney baby branded version. Super cool and unique. Look at us, out in the world. Strolling like Eola. Trying to be city slickers. <laughs> Teach our son how to be a city slicker. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got back from running a quick 5K and cleaning up obviously because this is not how I look right after a 5k um, it was it was to warm up for some fun events we have this weekend and you'll learn about them tomorrow but I want to give you a hint and it has to do with these awesome socks do you know put a comment down below if you uh, if you want to take a guess your nightly James feature Look at those hands. That's just how Peter and his brother nap. So while Peter was on his run, I gave James a bath, which was nice, just like cozy time together. Um, and now he's snoozing. So it'll be interesting with the timing. Um, but hey, we're, you know, we don't need much sleep. We always joked around saying that like, we always stayed up late and that we were just prepping for when we had kids. So. 
whenever we're up in the middle of the night so far i mean it's been five days um we've enjoyed each other's company so not too worried we are going to place some of our christmas decorations and then head to bed oh no sarah had a realization that we were missing a few christmas decorations and you guys know we have this ridiculous closet did you find it i thought we had high school stuff and our like hope box of cheesy goo goo gaga relationship stuff in the other but we consolidated i forgot that we can have you come in you can sense my distress um i forgot that we consolidated and this is also christmas tomorrow is another day no <gasps> Let's get it out tonight. And with all the anticipation in the world, I reveal to you the final bin of Christmas decorations, which explains so much because here are the lights that we were supposed to put up that we couldn't find yesterday, and I came to the conclusion that I had just thrown them away, along with Rupert's friend, Gerard, who I think is going to go on James's armoire. And there's the potpourri Sarah was talking about. Which is what started this whole debacle. Sorry, Gerard, for forgetting about you. You deserve better than that. But, you get to meet somebody. Gerard? Meet James. James? Gerard. James? Gerard's gonna haunt your nightmares because I'm putting him on top of your armoire. Dun. Dun. Gerard's home for the season. If you know who that is, comment below. Um, we'll give a proper introduction soon. Um, we need to do the lights still. We might buy a couple of new decorations, um, but we'll do like a little show around um, clip tomorrow. Can you tell I'm a little sleepy? Like we've been getting good sleep. We've just been going to bed late. We've just been really busy. Like we ended up yeah. going to the hospital today. Right. Alrighty. In celebration. We also have the Grinch on. I feel like we had the Grinch on yesterday too. You were just licking her lips. These are some Spode glasses we collect. Spode. Oh, it, it focused on your face at the perfect timing. Cheers. It's the holiday season now. <laughs> so I guess Peter had read the wrong daily message yesterday. So I'll read yesterday. When you have a bad day, a really bad day, try and treat the world better than it treated you. Bad trick stop. It's so late. <laughs> it's like old Brooker Project late stuff. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.